Hi, first graders. It's that time again. Press pause and go get your literature anthology book. Congratulations. We are on our last story. This is unit six, Together We Can, week five. Happy birthday, USA. Once you have your book, turn to page 398. Okay, firsties, I hope you're on page 398. Today's genre is nonfiction. And you guys remember, genre is just a fancy word for a certain type or style of book. Nonfiction, well, that is stories that teach, inform, and explain real things. Nonfiction stories are about facts or real events. This week's essential question asks, why do we celebrate holidays? We're going to read about how our country began. All right, get your reading fingers up so you can follow along and read with me. Happy birthday, USA! Each year, people celebrate the birthday of the United States. It is a day for us all to share. We enjoy favorite things such as fireworks, parades, and picnics. This kind of party has gone on for over 200 years. But how did this holiday begin? Wow, look at these great pictures from a parade. And look at the fireworks. I love fireworks. Boom, bang! That's the sound of fireworks that tear through the air. Colors light up the sky. Bands play and crowds roar. It's the 4th of July. In 1775, our nation was small. It had just 13 colonies. A colony is like a state, but ruled by a leader far away. The ruler was the King of England. The people in the colonies did not like this. They felt the king's rules were not fair. They felt he did not care if they were happy. On June 11, 1776, leaders of the young colonies met as a group called Congress. The people of the colonies wanted to split away from England and the leaders wanted to unite to make new rules and write their own laws. Do you guys know that our country began over 200 years ago? And look at this picture of Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Many rules for our nation were written here. Thomas Jefferson led the team that wrote the Declaration of Independence. They wrote it in just a few weeks. It declares that people should be free to be happy and that they should be free from rulers far away. The writers wanted to choose their own kind of government. Leaders started to sign the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. They sent it to the King of England. He was surprised the colonies dared to do this. He did not want the colonies to be free. The Declaration of Independence was first read out loud on July 4th. Music blared and bells rang. One year later, fireworks lit up the sky on July 4th. This was just the beginning. It took a long fight for everyone in our nation to be free. But it would not have been, it would not have happened without the Declaration of Independence. Now this is a copy of the Declaration of Independence. It told King George that 13 colonies wanted to be free from England. We celebrate our freedom and the Declaration every year on the 4th of July. It's no wonder it is our nation's favorite holiday.